you guys join. I want to do an NHL playoff video for what it is right now, and then later I will do a NHL video when all the teams are set and ready to play in the playoffs. So here's the first video. Um, let's start the Western Conference. We got number one seed, Calgary Flames. Number two seed, Winnipeg Jets. Number three seed, San Jose Sharks. Number four seed, Nashville Predators. Number fifth seed, St. Louis Blues. Number six seed, Vegas Golden Knights. Number seven seed, Dallas Stars. Number eight seed, Colorado Avalanche. And in the East, we have number one seed, Tampa Bay Lightning. Number two seed, Toronto Maple Leafs. Number three seed, Boston Bruins. Number four seed, New York Islanders. Number fifth seed, Columbus Blue Jackets. Number six seed, Washington Capitals. Number seven seed, Pittsburgh Penguins. Number eight seed, Carolina Hurricanes. So, I think in the Western Conference, the best teams... Regardless of where they are in the standings, I think the best teams, in my opinion, I think are the Predators, the Sharks, and I think those two teams you really are worried about. I don't see the Calgary Flames doing much, or the Jets. I mean, the Jets might get to the semis or the finals, you never know, but... I also see Calgary the Jets being the high power team that they look like right now in the standings. So I would definitely think the Predators and Sharks would definitely be an interesting uh, matchup whoever they play in the playoffs. In the Eastern Conference, let's be honest, nobody's catching the hand by Lightning because Lightning ain't going to just complete fall apart. Nobody's catching them. They're all had the best record in the NHL as they do right now. I think it'll uh, stay that way. But it seems to be reckoned with in that, in that conference. It's definitely obvious Tampa Bay that we believe aren't too shabby. They're, they're pretty good. Pittsburgh, I don't, think, I don't know if they still have the power to do anything, but Time will tell. I think those Blue Jackets, time will tell Blue Jackets. Boston, decent team. Do they have enough? I don't know. Islanders are surprised. I don't know if they really had the firepower without Tavares, but apparently they're sitting four seeds, so that's not too bad. Um, Hurricanes, they're just too iffy. Let's look at the Western Conference for a second here, and let's look at the AC, the Wild. Mm, the guy is 10 seed. They're not that far behind. There's still time for those two to catch up in the playoffs. It's interesting to see the Kings, the Ducks, and the Blackhawks not in the playoff race. So, we'll see what the Wild guys can do if they can somehow pick it up and crack a post spot. In the Eastern Conference, we got the Canadians and the Flyers, 9-10. Canadians, Cook, Racket, and so the Flyers. Flyers are only, I think, six, seven points behind, something like that. Because they beat the Penguins in the same series somehow. And the Panthers are sitting behind the Flyers. They still have a chance. But I think their chance is faltering every single game. Uh, the Rangers are pretty much out of it. And Drew's out of it. Red Wings out of it. Sanders out of it. Sabre Johnson they'll have enough power to get in, to roll into the playoffs. So, yeah. So right now I think it's all up to the teams that are playing. Uh, here's the points for the conferences. The points. 
looking in the west. Jets have 78 points, Prairie 77 points, Blues have 71 points, Cowboys 83 points, Sharks have 82 points, Vegas Golden Knights have 69 points, Dallas Stars have 67 points, Avalanche has 65 points. And we have 98 points. Bruins have 81 points. Millers has 78 points. Islanders have 79 points. Cavs have 77 points. Blue Jackets have 73 points. Kings have 73 points. Hurricanes have 72 points. So, yeah. So though, that's my first video for predictions and sort of and the seeds of where I sit right now. So like the video, the like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.